I bet you didn't know that time is considered the fourth dimension. Buckle up, because we're about to unlock the secrets of dimensions beyond the third. Let's start with the basics. We live in a three-dimensional world, right? Length, width, and height. These are the dimensions we experience every day, but what if I told you there's more, much more? Enter the fourth dimension, time. Yep, time is considered the fourth dimension. It's what allows us to move through our 3D space. Think of it as the invisible thread that connects the moments of our lives. Without time, everything would just be static. Now let's take it up a notch. The fifth dimension. This is where things get really fascinating. In theoretical physics, the fifth dimension is a reality that's beyond our comprehension. It includes all possible timelines that could have occurred from our universe's beginning. Imagine a line stretching out that represents time. Now, imagine every possible outcome branching out like a tree. That's the fifth dimension. So how do we visualize these higher dimensions? One way is through the concept of a tesseract. A tesseract is to a cube what a cube is to a square. Imagine a cube within a cube, connected at the corners. This is a 4D object projected into our 3D space. Mind-blowing, right? But hold on, it doesn't stop there. Theoretical physics suggests there could be even more dimensions. String theory, for instance, posits up to 10 or even 11 dimensions. These extra dimensions are compactified, meaning they're tucked away in such small scales that we can't perceive them. Why does this matter? Understanding higher dimensions can help us unlock the mysteries of the universe. It could lead to breakthroughs in quantum physics, black holes, and even the nature of reality itself. So next time you look at the world around you, remember there's so much more than meets the eye. The universe is a vast, complex place, and we're just scratching the surface. Thanks for joining me on this journey through higher dimensions. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more mind-expanding content. Until next time, keep exploring the unknown. Pause-2.5s. Now that we've taken a trip through the mind-bending realms of the fourth and fifth dimensions, let's dial it back and explore the very foundation of all dimensions. The first dimension. Pause-1.5s. The first dimension is as simple as it gets. It's the dimension of length. Imagine a single straight line. This line has only one measurable property length. There's no width, no height, just a straight path from one point to another. Pause-2s. Picture this, a dot on a piece of paper. Now extend that dot in one direction. You've just created a line, and that line represents the first dimension. It's as if you're tracing your finger along a piece of thread. You can move forward and backward, but that's it. No left, no right, no up, no down. Just a single linear path. Pause. 2S. To give you a real-world example, think of a tightrope walker. The rope they walk on can be considered a one-dimensional path. The walker can move forward or backward along the rope, but they can't move side to side or up and down without falling off. The rope essentially limits their movement to a single line representing the essence of the first dimension. Pause to S. Visual aids can help us grasp this concept even better. Imagine drawing a line on a piece of paper, then zooming in so closely that the paper's width and height disappear. All you're left with is that single line extending infinitely in both directions. That's the first dimension in its purest form. Pause 2S. While it might seem overly simplistic, the first dimension is crucial because it serves as the building block for all higher dimensions. Without understanding the basics of length, we wouldn't be able to comprehend width and height, let alone the complex realms of time and beyond. Pause to S. So the next time you draw a line or see a tightrope, take a moment to appreciate the simplicity and importance of the first dimension. It's the starting point of our journey through the fascinating world of dimensions. Pause to S. Thanks for sticking with me as we break down these fundamental concepts. If you found this explanation helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more explorations into the wonders of the universe. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and continue to explore the unknown. Pause-2.5s. Now that we've grasped the essence of the first dimension, let's step up to the next level and explore the second dimension. Pause-1.5s. The second dimension adds complexity by introducing width alongside length. Imagine taking that single straight line from the first dimension and extending it sideways to form a flat shape. This new dimension is often referred to as a plane. Pause 2S. Picture this, you have a piece of paper. Instead of just drawing a line, you draw a square or any other shape. This shape has both length and width, but no height. 
You can move forward, backward, left and right, but not up or down. Pause to S. Think of a sheet of paper lying flat on a table. You can trace your finger along any path on the paper, but you cannot lift your finger off the surface without moving into the third dimension. Pause to S. To visualize this better, consider a classic video game like Pac-Man. The characters move around a flat maze, navigating left, right, up and down, but never out of the screen. This two-dimensional world is limited to movements along the plane, perfectly demonstrating the second dimension. Pause to S. Another real-world example is a drawing or painting. Artists create depth and perspective on a flat canvas, but the canvas itself remains a two-dimensional surface. The illusion of depth is created through techniques like shading and perspective, but the artwork itself exists only in length and width. Pause 2S. Visual aids can further solidify this concept. Imagine drawing a coordinate plane with an x-axis and a y-axis. Any point on this plane can be described using two coordinates representing its position in the second dimension. Pause 2. S. You can also think of a map. When you look at a map, you see a representation of a geographical area in two dimensions. You can navigate the map by moving in any direction along the plane, but the map itself doesn't account for elevation or depth. Pause 2. S. Understanding the second dimension is crucial because it sets the stage for comprehending higher dimensions. It's the realm where we start to see more complex shapes and patterns emerge, laying the groundwork for the third dimension and beyond. Pause 2 S. So the next time you draw a shape or play a 2D game, take a moment to appreciate the intricacies of the second dimension. It's the bridge between the simplicity of a line and the complexity of our three-dimensional world. Pause 2 S. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the dimensions. If you enjoyed this explanation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more explorations into the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the unknown. Pause-2.5s. Now that we've unraveled the intricacies of the second dimension, it's time to ascend to the next level and explore the third dimension. Pause-1.5s. The third dimension introduces depth alongside length and width. Imagine taking a flat shape from the second dimension and giving it volume. This new dimension is often referred to as space. Pause 2s. Picture this, you have a cube. Instead of just drawing a square, you extend it upwards to give it height. This shape now has length, width and height, allowing movement in three directions. You can move forward, backward, left, right, up and down. Pause 2s. Think of a box lying on a table. You can trace your finger along any path on the surface of the box, and you can also lift your finger off the surface to explore its depth. Pause 2 S. To visualize this even better, consider a classic video game like Minecraft. The characters move around a three-dimensional world, navigating left, right, up, down, forward, and backward. This three-dimensional world allows for a much richer and more complex experience, perfectly demonstrating the third dimension. Pause 2 S. Another real-world example is a sculpture. Artists create depth and perspective in three dimensions, allowing viewers to walk around and experience the artwork from different angles. The sculpture itself exists in length, width and height, giving it a tangible presence in space. Pause 2S. Visual aids can further solidify this concept. Imagine drawing a 3D coordinate system with an x-axis, a y-axis and a z-axis. Any point in this space can be described using three coordinates, representing its position in the third dimension. Pause 2 S. You can also think of a globe. When you look at a globe, you see a representation of the Earth's surface in three dimensions. You can navigate the globe by moving in any direction, including up and down, accounting for elevation and depth. Pause 2 S. Understanding the third dimension is crucial because it's the realm we live in. It's where we experience the physical world with objects having volume and occupying space. It's the foundation for comprehending even higher dimensions. Pause 2. S. So the next time you interact with a 3D object or play a 3D game, take a moment to appreciate the complexities of the third dimension. It's the bridge between the flatness of a plane and the vast possibilities of higher dimensions. Pause 2. S. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the dimensions. If you enjoyed this explanation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more explorations into the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the unknown.